it's election day here in Marshfield. The roads are a little greasy, but people are making it to the election polls here in town. It's a primary election for the 2018 spring elections, which takes place on April 3rd. The one of the major things on the ballot today is the primary elections for the mayor of Marshfield. We have three candidates, Tom Witzel, Bob McManus, and Rebecca Spiros. We are joined today with Marshfield citizen, Dean Marquardt. Dean, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So you made it to the you made it to the poll station this morning. How was it getting here? Oh, the roads are pretty good. Some of the sidewalks aren't uh, <laughs> quite taken care of yet, but uh, they're being they're getting better by the minute. So you've been voting in Marshfield for how long? Well, let's see. How, how long is it since 1974? That's how long I've been voting in Marshfield. Well, we'd say 30 plus years. How's that sound? I'd say 40 plus. 40 plus years. That'll work for us. Um, you know, you probably participate in many elections. How, is, how do you feel voter turnout was for today so far for this morning? I didn't see many people where I was voting. I voted right, we're in the library now, and I voted in the community center just down the hallway from here. And I was the only one in there at the time. I have no idea. I didn't ask them how many people had had uh, been there to vote already. Polling station feel organized and uh, staff fully trained to help you out? Oh yeah, they're always, they're always good. They're always on top of their game and very friendly. So kind of jumping into the election, I mean, today is kind of an important, uh, an important election for Marshall. And we have a primary today and we have three candidates. Do you feel the candidates uh, in the last month since the campaign cycle really started have been able to reach out to you and communicate what their topics were? Well, I've, uh, I've seen quite a bit of information, thanks in part to you and the efforts that uh, Marshfield TV and uh, Focus on Marshfield has made. And there's been information in the, in some, in the papers. And uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I think so. Plus, I've, I've noticed the candidates are reaching out, uh, putting up signs and going door to door. So I think the, inf the access to information is, has been pretty good. Well, thank you, Dean. Elections are taking place all day in Marshfield at various polling sites. Uh, you can cast your ballot until 8 p.m. this evening. Uh, there will be a complete recap across various websites tonight, and we'll know tomorrow who is going to be our uh, two candidates for the mayor race. Uh, the actual elections after today will be on April 3rd. We are outside one of the polling stations here in Marshfield, one of three polling stations at the community center just outside of the library. We're here with one of the chief officials for the election cycle today. Eric, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Can you Tell me a little bit about your role as uh, the election official here in Marshfield. Sure, as the chief elections officer, my job is to basically work behind the scenes and make sure all the, the letters of the law are followed for the voting process. Um, so I solve any problems that the citizens may have or the election poll workers may have, um, but typically the, the workers that we have here are doing the majority of the legwork. So I'm just the problem guy. And how long are the polls open today? Uh, today they opened at 7 a.m. and they'll go till 8 p.m. Anything that anybody needs to bring if they want to vote uh, here at the poll station? Uh, when they come to vote, you have to have a, um, um, a visible ID, so just so that we can recognize it's your face and typically an address where you live on. We can verify that you're a citizen of, of Marshfield and you're in the right polling place. So at 8 o'clock and you announce the polls close, what takes place after the polls close here in Marshfield? Sure, so at 8 p.m. tonight, like, like you said, I'll announce that the polls are closed. Um, that doesn't mean the building is closed. You can still come in and view what happens. Um, anybody who was in line when I announced that the polls are closed can still vote. Um, once that last vote is placed into the tabulator, the ballot is placed in the tabulator, um, then we go through and take all of the ballots out of the tabulator and hand count them and sort them and, and um, make sure our books match with the number of ballots that went through the tabulator. Yeah, and I have to understand, you know, today's a primary, it's not a presidential election, but how has voter turnout been here today so far? I know it's early in the morning, but still, how are we uh, getting people through? Are the numbers the same, comparable, above average, lower than normal? Sure. Uh, typically, you know, don't, don't quote me on it, but for a primary, a non-presidential primary, we're looking at 10 to 20 percent voter turnout. Um, this morning with the weather, I would, I would imagine it's going to be closer to the 10 to the 20. Um, but this is fairly typical so far for... Um, this type of election. Well, Eric, thank you for joining us and for everybody watching. If you are in the city of Marshfield and have not voted, uh, there's three different polling sites in here in Marshfield that you can get in and cast your ballot.
We want to thank our guests for joining us today, uh, Eric here at the polling station and Dean Marquardt for joining us. One thing that we really want to cover is if you want to get out and have the opportunity to vote, there are some things you need to know as far as registration. Uh, we had an opportunity to talk with Deb Hall from the city of Marshfield uh, a few weeks ago, and we're going to give you a clip to give you a little bit more information on what to do, how to register, how to get involved. Polling stations, as we said a number of times in this program, are open until 8 p.m. Hi everyone, I'm Deb Hall. I'm the city clerk for the city of Marshfield. There are some important things you need to know in order to vote, and that is you need to be a registered voter of the city of Marshfield. And in order to register to vote, you need to fill out a form. You can either do that in my office, you could do it online, or you could do it at the polling locations. If you choose to do it at the polling locations, we do have three polling locations in the city of Marshfield, so what, it would depend upon where you live to where you would vote. You can obtain that information from contacting my office. Um, we would look up your address and let you know where you vote. You could do that online through the My Vote website, or you can go to our own city of Marshfield website and key in your address and they would let you know where you vote. In order to be a registered voter, you also have to show proof of residency. And proof of residency could be something as simple as your driver's license, as long as it has your correct address on it. Voting is an important right for every resident, for every citizen of the United States. We urge everybody to get out and vote and make your voice heard. Again, you can do that in multiple ways. You can come to the city of Marshfield and you can register and you can also vote an absentee ballot if it's close to an election. Um, our city website is ci.marshfield.wi.us. So again, we urge everyone to get out, make your voice heard. If you have any questions, you can reach the city clerk's office at 486-2023. Get out and make your voice heard. We'll see you at the polls.